Well, this is Sunday. Yesterday I did the video on the, uh, uh, the Bobcat 331 uh, thermostat uh, housing. And uh, I knew that it was going to be sort of snowy today. If I had come out and do a shot with uh, me just going up and checking out uh, a place where there's like a breathing crevice and a cave and everything that's uh, not too far from my place. But then all of a sudden I uh, ended up running into this. <sighs> So, trying to get there, my car uh, hit this one part of the drift and slid right off here and uh, I'm stuck. So, guess I'm going to have to dig my way out. Well, I got the car unstuck, then I got it stuck again. And, uh... Uh, because I didn't have uh, enough fuel for the deuce and a half, I just tried out the old uh, Honda 350 uh, 4x4 here. Show you. And uh, hooked on, uh, used the chain hook, hooked it onto the back of the car, and then through this long strap, I just get a uh, running start to pull it. You can see the aftermath. And so I flip and then I flipped the car around and just parked it there. So when I need to go home, I'm downhill and just shoot out. So well with, with the battery low, I'm going to uh and probably fuel, I'm gonna go up and make sure this thing's fuel up before we head out to uh try to find what the initial plan of this trip was was to find that breathing crevice in the cave. Been there before, but I haven't seen it during winter time, and maybe I can find some more entrances. So I'll head up there. This is recording apparently I had an SD card error so I don't know if my last file was saved or not so I wonder if it's the vibrations so I'm gonna try to uh, put the camera to the front well just in case it uh, didn't uh, record first we're gonna head out now we're gonna have to do a little cross-country I think maybe because of the wiggling while this was attached to the ATV that uh, caused the SD card error. So, let's head over.
cross country, so it's going to be tough to be holding the cam with one hand and steering with my other. Might be as far as I can go with the ATV. Might have, should have maybe gone around the other ridge, but we'll just see here, see what I can do.
Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to hold the camera to go up here, so i try to set it down. Hopefully, it won't do an error. Well, you can't really tell, but I'm on a probably 30 degree slope. It's not going to want to go up, so we're going to have to walk from now on. Should be not too far up over this uh, hill here. So. It's either that or it's over on this one over here it's either on this side or this side can't quite remember so it's actually quite beautiful in this area This walk going to be a little bit more than I ever remembered. It's like the ridge is heading that way. All right, well, I'll start going. Well, I think I'm like on the wrong ridge. I need, think I need to go to the ridge over here. I'm looking up here. I'm in this on this ridge. I'm pretty certain I need to be on this one. So I was trying to figure out whether I'd go back to the ATV and try to loop around or maybe just go and cross over here. I think I'll just cross over here. Nice day for a walk, but it's pretty steep right here. Probably going to be sliding. Let's see. Uh, uh, it's ground soft enough. Whoa! Be nice if I had some skis. <laughs> Whoa, going down quick. <laughs> All right. Well, I made it to the bottom. Now back up over there. Oh, these are pretty interesting rocks. Those rocks are orange. Wow, they're like reddish orange. Oh. I'll start recording once I get up to some place a little more interesting now. Well, I came up just right over there, walked across that side, then came down back up to the top here. And after looking at where I'm heading, uh, I'm pretty sure it's either right over here or right over here where the uh, breathing uh, crevice is. Uh, place where a bunch of uh, air comes uh, blowing out of a crack, big long crack in the ground. So we'll head over to that area. Uh, it's a little bit farther than I remember. Uh, there was, there's no easy way for me to get the ATV here. Uh, it was summertime, I maybe could have made it up back from the other valley area but uh, with the snow i can't see all the big rocks and there's some big drifts up here 
So I'm just gonna head, you know, head right over here. And then I can look back and forth. Cause I knew it was up near the top of one of these. And then farther down, there was like a cave uh, in the valley. I'll just keep going. I don't know if you can see, we got the wind blowing the snow. And, uh, and then I just realized that uh, I left my phone all the way back in the car. So I'm on my own up here. I'm sure glad I have this coat though. I'm actually pretty warm, but it is cold now. And the wind is really biting right now. This just doesn't look like I remember. It's either got to be, I've either gone too far back or it is over on the other one. But I noticed this interesting little rock formation. I didn't know about this before. I can get through all this deep snow. Well, Definitely had a few animals in here. I think I'll just loop around over here if not, and then head back in the other direction a little bit. Yeah, I haven't seen any mountain lion tracks yet. I normally would see those. Oh, this snow is pretty deep here. Go up around here and then take a look. I'm not sure but I'm gonna check over on this other ridge I was gonna stop here but this other area looks a little more familiar but I'll check over here if not then I'll start heading back try to find it if it's on the other other way and then uh, I don't think I'll try to go and uh, get to the cave from this side because it's uh, uh, I have to go all the way down to the bottom. I'd just rather take the ATV and go around. make it so right. well I can't seem to find it 
I don't know. No, it was a, uh, I'm over on this ridge. I crossed over that ridge from that ridge. I remember it was, uh, you could see the, uh, the limestone seams. I don't see it here, but a lot of the snow is blown drifts that, that sort of blow opposite of the way that the seams go. So it's sort of hiding it from me. Uh, without all the snow on the top, I could probably find it easier. So I'm going to try to just head back up here, loop back around, and just start heading down and around. Uh, probably give up uh, if I don't find it on this loop here. I'll just get on the ATV and then go around and find the cave. It's, it's not too far from the cave up on the top, but it's a little bit farther than you would expect. So... Uh, well, holy moly, I found it. I was just about ready to head completely away, but in the back of my mind, I was thinking there was this one little, this, uh, this bush over here. And then I remember when I was here, I wanted to mark it somehow. So I had put a couple of rocks on top of this boulder right next to where it is. So in my mind, I was a little wrong. I thought it was in the more flat, but it's out here with the rocks. So, I got to see the breathing uh, crevasse here. So, I dug it out a bit last time, but it looks like it's even open more. Got a lot of nice warm air coming out. Oh, fogging up. So, okay, I just got to remember, I'm down by that, where is that now, down by the tree there, and then I'm up through this rock, and right here, and I wonder, uh, I remember digging it out quite a bit here, but it looks like some of the material has fallen down, I wonder how far that goes, well, uh, it's nice and warm here. That would be a really tight squeeze. So, in the, my head then, we're quite a ways away from where the other cave is, I believe. Uh, so this is, this is actually a long ways away from the cave down in the canyon. I was thinking, it was farther. Well, no, it, it might be. This might be on the seam. It's just going in a different direction. So, uh, it's nice and warm when I get right down in here. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Uh I almost like need to get some sort of a, a long extension. It looks like it's just a little too tight for me right there. I'll grab the flashlight. I remember digging it out a bit, but I don't remember digging it this much. I must have dug enough that some of it, some more collapsed. Seems to go down there. Oh. That's that right there. Yeah, it's just too narrow, too small to get down. If I could get right down to that spot right there. Let's clean the lens again. If I could get right. If there's some way I get through this slight little opening, it opens up right there. And then it looks like it goes that way and it goes maybe down that way too. It's actually really beautiful. Whoa, this board just suddenly fell. Oh. 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 
Got to keep cleaning the lens there. Can't reach any farther with it. Oh. Wow. Okay, well, I'm glad I found it. Yeah, now I remember my head. It's just straight east of that tree. I'd completely forgotten it was in the rock area here. Seems to me I was thinking it was not. I'm wondering. Well, this is definitely some, something to check out sometime. Looks like some of the rocks right here are loose. But I'm going to take a quick look around, see if there's any other openings. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to the breathing uh, crevice and remember my little markers. I think I might, I think I might put a few more up there. Just, uh, Well, when I go back to the ATV, I'm going to have to take a pretty long ride because i got to go all the way around the, this whole mountain ridge area. And then uh, I'm going to try to see off where the, the reference of this is to the other cave. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Some of the areas are... The easiest way to get back there is now closed off. I have to go around that area to get to it. Well, uh, as I was coming here, heading back over, you gotta get over that ridge to get to that, to go down to the ATV. I noticed that there's some uh, holes there, one in that big uh, uh, limestone outcropping there, and another one down there. Probably not much of anything, but uh, I'll put them in the back of my mind to check them out sometime. Those are a little bit closer. I wonder if I can... Yeah, it's still difficult to get to. I don't think I can get there with the ATV. So, let's cross back over. Ah, been a heck of a walk. and Trying to figure out where I came up and where I parked the ATV. I can see my little trail going right up there. And over so the ATV's got to be over there somewhere. Oh. Whew. Uh, this is pretty steep right here. I don't know where exactly I came up. Did I actually come up this? I must have. I don't see my tracks though. Ah, I see my tracks. Oh, I think they're my tracks. Oh, nope, they're not my tracks. Well, what kind of track? I can't quite make out those tracks. Huh. Uh, it could be a lot of different things. I can't see where can't see the paw print of it. It's already melted away.
there's my tracks. Thought that was maybe mine coming up going to the left, but nope. Whoa. Yeah, I think it probably uh, I'm trying to figure out the way. Cause I came that's really steep right there. I think I'll just cross it right. Go sideways up the hill. I wonder how deep this is. I'll just jump over it. Woo. Yeah, initially I uh, found that breathing crevice is what I call it. When I was hiking up there before, was just looking around, and I heard a weird sound, and uh, uh, sort of a whistling sound, and that's when I uh, found that uh, that uh, crack with all the air coming in, and so that sort of, sort of sounds like a little bit like breathing, but then it also, if I remember right, it also made a whistling sound, but doesn't make that now that I open it up because it was only like a really uh, small opening initially and I pulled some of it away so I could get a better look in there that was years and years ago uh, there's the ATV I can finally rest uh, uh, so uh, Well, there she is, just where I parked her. I didn't want to, I just left her parked on the slope because I didn't want to have to walk back up if I parked down lower. So I carefully back her down and then uh, head around the mountain. And, uh, you guys can see uh, with this GoPro I don't have a zoom but there is deer all over that hill there has to be probably 30 or 40 that I can see and uh, the cave yeah is way farther in than uh, I re remember the, uh, the breathing crevasse is way that way in the cave this way I'd forgotten all about that it was this far away so I'm I'm on this old road that hasn't been on like forever and uh, uh well yeah my fingers getting a little cold yeah this is way out here this is a lot farther so I don't think that the uh the breathing crevice is anywhere close to connected to the uh, the uh, cave, unless it's a massive cave system, because I'm like definitely a mile or so, two miles away. Uh, so, all right, well, I'll go up a little bit farther and see if I can find it, because it's got to be right around in this area here. Otherwise, uh, uh, I won't know where it's at. What's sad about this is uh, there used to be lots of these uh, cedar trees here and the fire really burned them out.
not really sure where it's at. It's either going to be up over there or there. So I'm going to uh, have to uh, put this down in order to get to that area. Well, I think this is as far as I'm going to go. Don't exactly remember. <laughs> These were like uh, 15 years ago or so when I found them. Uh, and so I'm uh, I'm thinking they're right up here, but the snow's uh, pretty deep and the sun's going down. So I'm not going to push it today. At least I found the uh, the one that I really uh, like that I opened up myself. Uh, so I'm going to keep my eyes open. I'm just thinking if it was like the cave was over there or over there. I just don't remember it being up so high unless it was around this corner over there. But I don't think it was. So, all right, well, we're going to head on back. Well, the sun is just about ready to set over on the horizon there. It uh, feels sort of nice. So, I'm just going to walk back down to the car and call it a day. And uh, if you guys liked it, please uh, subscribe and press the like button if you can. And everybody have an awesome evening.